Welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Kathy Fillion. Today I have a really fun project to share with you. I'm gonna be doing a Dollar Tree makeover. And what I'm making over today is their really cute fashion doll furniture. Now I'm super excited about the Barbie movie coming out. So I've got a couple of fun projects to share with you that are going to be perfect for your little 12 inch friends. Take a look at this set. I use some napkins. This was originally red and we're doing napkin decoupage on it. I did that same technique on our little clay pots for these plants. Of course, the little swimming pool got a makeover. Look at how cute all of this is. So you get that table and chairs. All of these bases came from Dollar Tree and then just with two napkins and a little bit of Mod Podge, I was able to create this really fun, cute look. All right, I'm gonna dive right in and show you how I did all of it. It's really easy and this is a great project to do with kids. So for this set, I'm using three pieces, the pool, the umbrella, and the table and chairs. And the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and prime the pieces that we're going to do napkin decoupage with some folk art home decor chalk. So that's just a nice coat of the white chalk, and that's gonna help the color of our napkin pop and make the napkin stick better to the plastic. For the napkin, I found these awesome tropical prints. Look how cute these are. Now we're going to separate those plies. I'm only working with the top printed ply. So make sure you separate those plies. And sometimes there's one, two or three plies. So you really gotta look closely and make sure that you only have that top printed section. Once your chalk paint is thoroughly dry, you'll be ready to add a coat of Mod Podge. I'm using Mod Podge gloss here, and I'm just coating the entire top of the umbrella. And once it's coated, then you can add the napkin on top. So I'm placing the napkin on top, and then I'm using my fingers and the brush with a little Mod Podge on it just to smooth that over the entire top of the umbrella. I like to cut my piece a little bit larger now with a project like this, you may get some wrinkles. You could spritz your napkin with water first, or you could rub a little cling wrap over the top of it once you have it down to help get rid of wrinkles. Once it's a little bit dry, you can go ahead and trim away the excess off of the edge. I'm not trimming it exactly to the edge. I'm leaving a little bit overhang there because I'm going to use a paintbrush and a little bit more Mod Podge to secure that to the inside lip of the umbrella. I'm using my fingers to smooth out those edges and just to make sure that it's completely stuck down and that I get a really good, nice, pretty finished edge. Now to that inside, I wanna add some of this pom-pom trim because it's a perfect, perfect fashion doll color. So I'm just using a little hot glue and I'm just gluing that to that inside edge of the umbrella. It's really as easy as that and look at how adorable this turns out. Okay, it's pretty much the same technique for the table and I'm gonna show you how I did that next. For the table, I'm just adding the Mod Podge to it, adding my napkin. I'm smoothing that with my fingers just like I did on the umbrella and then we'll top coat with a little bit more and cut away. Make sure we glue our edges down. Look how cute. I love this print. Now for that hole, I'm just using a little toothpick to open that hole up. That's where the umbrella stand goes. And then let's add a quick top coat. Look how adorable that is. What a fun transformation. All right, let's get started on the pool. So for the swimming pool, this is a tiny little pool. It holds about one fashion doll. And to the inside, I'm just going to brush on and roll around some Mod Podge gloss. And once the whole entire inside is coated, I'm sprinkling it with some pool colored glitter. This is sort of a glitter that matches the pool color, but kind of looks like water to me. And then I want to add one more element to it just to weight down the pool a little bit because it is kind of lightweight. So I'm adding a little Mod Podge to the back of these gems and I'm just gluing them into position and that will make it look like water but also give it a little weight.
Our little pool scene is going to need some plant life, so I'm going to make over these little clay pots, and it's the same thing. I'm adding that white chalk paint so the colors of the napkin pop out. I'm adding some Mod Podge, and then I'm decoupaging a little scrap of that napkin down to the clay pot. Same exact technique. And I'll top coat with a little bit more Mod Podge and make sure I glue that napkin to the bottom and around that top edge. Now, once this is thoroughly dry, I'm going to go ahead and cut out some craft foam. This is some floral foam to fit inside the pot. And so I just trace around it and then I'm using a craft knife just to cut that. And then I just pop it right into the pot. And you don't have to worry about it looking perfect because we're going to cover that up. Now, I found these cool kind of grass plants, faux plants, and I'm just sticking them in and I think they look super cool. I also picked up some aquarium rocks at the dollar store and I'm going to use Mod Podge to glue those into the plant. That's what we're going to cover up that foam with. So I'm just pressing it down just to give it a little bit more room for the aquarium rocks. You could use moss here, dried beans, whatever you want. I just want to cover up that floral foam. So I'm using some Mod Podge gloss. I'm just dabbing it on there trying to get it in between the little plant pieces and I'm going right up to that rim, right up to the edge. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle those aquarium rocks right on top. I got lucky, this blue color matches my napkins perfectly. But if you didn't find a color that you liked, you could always use black or white. Look at how cool these turn out. It's just the perfect little extra added bonus that we needed for our display. Now it's quickly and easily to pop these chairs together and they seem pretty sturdy so far so I'm pretty happy. And then all we have to do is put our umbrella onto the table. Oh my gosh guys, I just love how this turned out. It is so cute. I wish I had this when I was a kid. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that this has inspired you to think about how you can make over some of that dollar doll furniture. I'll be back here next week with another fun video to share with you. And until then, have a super crafty week. Bye.